Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your fourth AngularJS tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about the magic that is two-way data binding. <laughs> okay dude, so this is where we left off in the last tutorial. We went ahead and downloaded AngularJS and popped it in our folders right here and uh, we linked to that in the head so that we can now use AngularJS in this project. So, before I start, I want to say that for a lot of AngularJS, we're going to need to run our code on some kind of server. Now, that could be a live server or a local one. I'm going to use a local one. And one cool about Atom, this text editor right here, is that we can just install a package that enables this functionality for us. So, to do that, go to File and go to Settings. You can see I've already installed it, but to do it, just go to Install right here and search for Atom Live Server. This will pop up, just click Install, a little blue button like this. And once it's installed, go to Packages. You'll see your installed packages right here. Um, just click on this one, and it's going to give you some information. And it tells you if you use any of these keystrokes right here, Control shift 3 4 5 8 or 9 that is going to open up a live server. And it's going to have a live link between this, uh, the browser and your code. So when we save in the code, it's going to automatically update in the browser. Okay? So I've already done that. I've installed it. And I went ahead and clicked Control shift 3 and I got this browser this server right up here this local server okay so now when i type something in here let's just type a p tag and say hey all let's press save and that's going to appear right here okay so uh cool let's get rid of that for now and click save so then two-way data binding is one of the first things i explored in angular js it was like magic on a web page when i first saw it and it's really good just for starting out and seeing the kind of power that's available to you straight out of the box. So the first thing we need to do is add in an attribute to our HTML element. Okay, so we'll come up here and the attribute is just ng app. Now this is actually a directive and we're going to talk about directives a little bit later on. All you need to know for now is that this tells Angular, look, I want everything inside of these HTML elements right here, um, these HTML tags, to be an Angular application. So I want you to control everything within it. Okay, so we can have this ng app on a different tag if we wanted to. We could put it on the body, um, and then everything just within the body would be controlled by Angular. This would be our application. Or if we had a div tag or something like that within the body somewhere, then we could put it on that, and then just the content within that div tag would be controlled by Angular, and that would be the Angular application portion of your website. Okay, so for simplicity, let's just go ahead and keep this on the HTML tag. And just say, look, we're passing over control to you, Angular. You control everything within these HTML tags. So this is our application right now. And uh, the next thing I want to do is add a text input. So I'm going to say input type equals text. And I'm going to use another directive right now, and it's called ng model. Okay, and you're probably going to notice a pattern here. We're using ng in front of these directives, and pretty much every uh, directive that we use with Angular that is a an Angular directive in itself. Uh, starts with ng okay so ng model is what we're going to use to store our data and uh, when I talked about MVC in a previous tutorial uh, we said that the model was the data so that's all we're going to do it's going to store data for us okay in some kind of variable and we're going to give this model a name we'll call it fave meet and then I'm also going to put a placeholder on to this import I'm going to say enter your fave meet all right cool so now I save it's going to look something like this on the browser and uh, what would happen is if I type something now into this import if I type pork now that string that word right there is going to be stored on this variable this model okay fave meet so it's going to store it it's binding my input to this model pretty cool right but it's not that interesting on its own. So what I want to do is output this to the screen right here. And I'll do that below by saying P. And I'll say your fave meet is. And then I'm going to output it using what's known as an expression, which is just two curly brace sets. And then we pop the model name that we want to output in between them. So the model name is fave meet. So remember, whatever we write in here, because we have this ng model directive associated with this input field, then whatever we write in here is going to be stored in this model. So right now, the model is storing this string, pork. Okay, But what we want to do is now output that to 
the browser using this expression. We're going to talk about expressions later on, but this is how we output data using expressions. Okay, so if I save that now, then it should, oops, not proc, but you can see it updating. As I type in here, it's updating live right here. Okay, and as I delete, it's deleting that live as well. So I can type anything I want in here. Okay, that's really cool. Now you can imagine this will take a little bit longer using something like vanilla JavaScript or jQuery. Um, and we've not had to do any JavaScript whatsoever here at all. This is just the functionality straight out of the box with Angular and it's called two-way data binding. So it's called two-way data binding because if we update um, the model using the view right here, this is the view, right? Because we're viewing this in the browser. So if we update it here, then it's gonna update the model in the code. Now, if we update the model, then it's gonna update the view. Okay, so it's backwards and forwards, two-way data binding. And that is really cool. That's one of the best things about Angular JS, in my opinion, okay? And it's really, really flexible. We're gonna get into uh, more complex examples as we go on, but uh, I wanted to show you this just to begin with, all right? So that is your uh, first kind of proper tutorial using AngularJS. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.